Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Age or Company Heroes 1 replay. Spawn on top right yet. side as the Grimlock Force, and we have Many Heck. Spawn as his Pants Elite Ally, we have Enshar Ba. Spawn on bottom left side as the US Forces, we have King Pete 99. Right, and spawn as the other US Forces, we got G Bolt. It can, yeah, I see, actually, the bridge can be a little bit of a chore to watch. It seems like a lot of times people put the forward, their HQ too far forward and they tend to get just overran. Completed. And a grad push away forward. Not sure what he's going for first. I think it's going to be for Panzer Grenadier. Yep. Pioneer team ready. Couple engineers spawn a few. He has gone for a barracks. Over here do have a barracks, no support for the center. One of the players looks like lagging a little bit. And we're at capture the center of the map. We do have these forces. We can capture some more parts of the map. We've got a MG42. Grad has kept the central VP. We got a early logistics company, so maybe I can put some two two ones. Pioneers have seized objective. No enemy in sight. Was that both teams are eyeing for more than the center of the map? It's like, uh, Sign was trying to cap the VPs nice and early, trying to play the VP, VP game almost immediately. He's near kept in the central point as well. And it looks like this player is lagging a little bit. <clears throat> MG42 fires away, gets some suppression there on the rifleman. It's a little four two is now advancing. Down south, we do have Kettengrad and Pioneers. And the map, we do have an early machine gun bunker. I see a rifleman. Yes, we got a rifleman and a jeep now in the field. Jeep does drive past the Kettengrad, not paying close enough attention. Pioneers trying to go for an early observation post. Observation post took some nip amount of damage. And the Kenneth Grab will find the 30 cal emplacement. And for MG42 will keep this Jeep at bay. This Kenneth Grad is getting hit a little bit now and needs to fall back. <clears throat> Rock Squad gets a bit of a burst there. And now this guy is taking severe damage. And Gret has gone down. Best to use a Bergen ticket to get that recovered. And this guy's taking a bit of damage as well. That's actually a 2 2 1, not a Kettengrad. Alright, if I already get gunned down as well. He may have spawned there. Engineers could try pursuing it. Kettengrad here got gunned down. Best to use a Bergen ticket to get that recovered. Another 2 2 1 deploy on the field. More Volks being thrown on field as well. 4-2 is actually in, in some damage on that machine gun bunker. It's slowly ticking it out. He really suppresses down that rifle squad. He really wants to win that fight. Looks like this uh, looks like this US player is lagging a little bit once again. That rifle squad probably should fall back unless you're trying to stall for this other engineer for straight forward. Unupgraded though. There's the upgraded flamethrower, but right now he's not really behind cover and does scatter quite significantly there. But he is melting the Panzergrenadiers. 
Uh, I'm fine with either. I don't mind 1v1s, 2v2s. In journey, what 3v3s I find on the games we play are definitely a little bit lower rank. No offense to them. So it tends to be a little bit more lopsided, one-sided. Our rifle squad now advancing up the flank. Hans Grenier is getting a bit of damage. It's even quite a bit of damage. We'll need to fall back over soon. The also facial pulse still seems to fire at the M42 cargoy. We do have this uh, scout car set up on this uh, sector here. And now we've got this guy heading for the fuel sector, just parking the corner and be fine enough. Rifle squad taking some damage. Jeep push way forward. We'll find the two, 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 three. Among everything else there, we've got US sniper to pull on the field. And Jeep has gone down. Over here, I do have a fast motor pool. Skirmish phase not complete. Ultrandir is trying to hunt down that sniper. Doesn't it's find him. Ultrandir is here. We're all looking at some damage on that of Ultrandir. And he's decided to, oh, decided to run down the mortar. Two, three here. We do have a flock roving being has been established there as well. And most observation post has been built on the fuel site as well. G43 decides to suppress the rifle and squad again. Playing through our straight forward with rifle and squad support. Up here, or I think a sniper just got hit down the bulbs. MP40 bolt sound now then the bottom field. The damage there on the rifleman squad, but the rifle squad's in a decent spot. So not all the guys can fire, just a good number of them. And both juniors do get entirely wiped out. Got another Greyhound pulling fuel. He went for Pinta Mount before Armor Skirts. You should always go for Armor Skirts first. Sniper finds a shot down 223. For what it's worth. Two, three needs to get on out of there. MG4. Also, no AT on the field, is there? I guess Kurgis around the field has not built a pack 38. Not sure what he's doing at the moment. We have regained the momentum on the field. Oh, that's where the Pack 30 is being pulled on the field. M42 does take a shot. Give a shot there. Pack 30. Finds a good hit there in the Greyhound. M242 needs to get on out of there. One more shot may connect. Greyhound received the miss there, but dancing in front of the gun. M42 gets out of garrison. There goes the Greyhound. The sniper does throw a shot. 30 QS, 30 California field. Ready for the sniper. And does it now going to MP40 upgrade? You also are supposed to up and going. This one is not sure that's the same one, different one. 
Avengers for four. Folks in is trying to be caught by the four HQ. And Flaming Fairs do detonate their pack, though it may burn this squad a little bit. The Yankees are attacking one of our OPs. The Yankees are attacking one of our OPs. Crab squad has taken a bit of damage there. Got the Lofar front forces trying to finish them off. And the 30 cows is overall getting great damage there. MP42 is just not uh, firing back. They are attacking secure territory of the fatherland. Back 38 trying to take out this bunker. MP42 gets out of the garrison. I think it's going to get sniped there. Secure sector is under attack. Hero. It does get sniped there. Another year sniper to pull on the field. Now, oh, no, that's the same your sniper. Two, two, three does get some damage there on that sniper, but does not take him out. Does he got the rifle squad there? The sniper could be pursued all the way back home. Nothing here to protect him. Sniper gets gunned down. The engineers won't be able to do much versus the 2 2 3. Should just fall back for the 2 2 2 2 3. Now, do we have light vehicle capture or deployed by the red US player? If one US player has gone for armor, the other one's probably going to go for infantry. Transcriters do take a bit of damage. And that looks like the G43 squad will get wiped on out. Maybe not, he's not really pursuing it. Does wipe him out there. Got the Camp Group Company and the Panzer Command on the field. Cowards attack our forward base. Machine gun team does take a little bit of fire there from the STG squad. The STG squad does fall back. This player lagging out a little bit there. Rangers trying to decap that uh, structure. We will get in the inside. Nine decapture. Two does make it on out there. Balls a miss there. Flamethrower engineers pre four gives good damage on those forces. One ranger squad does fall back. He looks like he will skip on out of there. The other one is taking severe damage. Now the Greyhound is falling back. Greyhound does the main gun shorty crit there, and the Stug will roll a miss, not take it out. is on the field. We'll have one level veteran C. It doesn't appear to be selected at the auction just yet. Rolls another miss there. Back 30 gets good hit there and still does finish him off. Up north got the SG squad and the off ground force trying to stop these forces. It'll probably fail. Martyr deployed right there. Fuck ground forces does go down. That squad does get wiped on as well. Four shimmers and send the map. Damage to crit there, so most of the ones stick bomb there. The best player may have sticky bomb research. Ah, 
A little lag spike there by the US player. Veterancy gained. Down south, we do have down the MP40 squad. Getting some good damage on that M1 AT gun. Rangers move around. 30 cal sitting on up. Does get a good shot there. And we've got a bunk here. Maybe cash recovery. Maybe MG bunker. You now have fire or terror doctrine selected by the Vermaclair was selected. And there goes the Foshi Major squad. But we know we've got three doctrine. Oh, yep. All players select doctrine. Infantry, tank, look off ground forces, and terror now. And before your squad would like to get wiped on out there, nothing for some attention. We'll wipe there as well. A little bit a big oversight. Yeah, it's gone for a repair station there. Okay. Don't think that's that maybe a little bit too far forward for a repair station. First squad of Fulton Meagers back here. Fresh 2 3 4 to pull in the field by the Wehrmacht player. Rangers finds the flank. He does build up MG42 inside the bunker, so it's technically an MG bunker. Rotates around, does hit the Rangers now. Oshmigus engaging the rifle squad. We got the quarter half track moving down south sword and plus we got the Thompson Rangers. So possibly this little pop ground force actually gets fully wiped. Not sure what type of artillery barrage that is. Firestorm. Massive damage all across the line. I should have realized that Firestorm was actually lit up. I don't know why I was thinking like butterfly bombs. I got the incorrectly list on Twitch. Oh, sorry about that. Oops. I probably forgot to change that. Huh, how did it get reverted back? I'm pretty sure it was Comfy Heroes 1. Maybe I forgot to hit an OK button. Thank you. Rangers, a lot of dead there. A flamethrower is here. And this guy is a little bit too campy right now. Ford HQ here does not provide healing. Does not the Pan's Leap player. Got these forces moving around. We now have the Greyhound and the MG bunker take game receive some damage there from the Stug. Water half track moving around, but of course neither can engage the Stug. Rolls a miss there. Up north, we got the Fulgian Makers catch up the sector. Got the Rangers in the center of the map, center northern part of the map. Sign invested too much down here. He's providing a lot of stuff there for his teammate but right now his teammate is in the center of the map those are still doing just fine but now we got a sherman crocodile that's why he went for a sherman crocodile and needs some ad uh, adequate at because right now he has yeah he has no at on the field uh, i suppose he has one m1 at gun but still girl sherman tank would be a little bit better at the moment rangers here May fire a single bazooka shot, but not want to target the mortar as it starts driving by since it's captured the sector. Machine gun bunker getting repaired on up. Mortar there. Now 
Now I got the Falsy Makers firing away, getting some damage on their rangers who are running around. Three Thompsons are up. The Falsy Makers should do just fine. But overall, the rangers may just get wiped on out. Ranger squad does fall back there. Looks like he will escape on out of there. Points left. Mortar hit there. Reserves are holding a Goliath for us. Goliath firing away. Ranger right there. Gets around the bunker. Bunker is rotated around. Or at least the MG inside the bunker. Pressing down the rifleman squad. Good damage there on that rifleman squad. Got the MG42 inside this bunker. Gives the damage. Another fire source has been brought in. A little bit overkill. Just see the rifleman. Enemy in. unit down. Back to C2 still. Right forward. Bunker may go down soon. He's trying to repair it up. Infantry player does have been a manpower. He's just investing to something. Both for a good number of Sherman tanks now. Martyr. Activate rolls a miss. Martyr rolls a miss. Martyr rolls a hit there. And now the Sherman tanks push straight forward. Does see the bounce and pen there. Still fast as well. Destroy into crit. And the mortar does finish it off. And now the machine gun bunker is receiving some damage. Question is getting suppressed there. Machine gun bunker does go down, and I had it so selected while switching between players, so I have now a permanent reticle of the map. Crocodile does a bit of damage there. We have enemy munitions location ready to secure. Taking fire! Cover me. Matched up, who's ready to go? M180 gun, throwing some rounds at the carcasses. I think, or maybe just trying to siege down the structure here. MG may want to get out the structure, get reinforced. Mortar firing away. Nice right. crossroads pretty forward, unvetted though. That's butterfly problems being dropped on in. But the fly feet destroys the gears entirely with the MG inside of it. Veterans engage. And does have the full sneaker there with a good mortar hit. A good number of butterfly bombs in this region is going to be difficult to advance. V1's now available. Needs a lot more munitions though. Uh, let's see. Wiped out the 30 cal. Oh no, that's the mortar. Drum tank to push it forward. Looks like the Osman's getting some good damage. So he needs to rotate over here. Here's a Sherman tank. Crossorders which way forward. Get some bounces there. Quad finally gets nice cross sorters. Go to Cal does fall back. He does because the here on the uh AT gun. We do now the Sherman tank. We're seeing some auto cannon fire from the flak Irving. Bingo Bunker does go down. And over here, we've got now the nice cross soldiers. Even more damage. He may, he may just need to fall back. He does have a one for them now. It's also a pistol munitions, so the V1 probably should not been. He probably should have saved command points and not go for the V1 until he actually needed to pull out the V1. Hands fouls fired, still firing away. No injury crowd in the Sherman tank. His rear armor exposed. making a weird sound effect there or lack of sound effect 
Rangers push right forward. He does have Thompson Rangers, which means the Bazookas don't really get passed around all too easily. So if the Bazooka model goes down, the uh, Bazooka does not fire. It could get just straight up get dropped. Last cross photo is going to be the there. Still take some damage. That was fired up there. Still falling back. Attention. The enemy advances. Now I've got another verbal one to play with you. The last one was a Black Panther Austin. Let's find some butterfly bombs here. Very nice. Money up the objectives. Good spot for the butterfly bombs. We still got a good number here. After that fuel sector there, Vorboyan moving around to have the M3 and the Sherman tank into this region. And the Sherman tank does clean up a butterfly bomb. Ooh, those butterfly bombs do good work versus Greyhounds. So does the Martyr, who's not kind of deployed. Now we've got a Panzer IV. 5P Rocket Garage running in over here. Soften up the Martyr. There's like two Clyopies. Yep, two Clyopies were firing right there. Martyr severely wounded. Panzer IV, Panzer IV. Will find himself a ET gun there. And the AT gun is not repositioned properly. It does actually crew the AT gun with the pintle mount as well as I think the whole mounted machine gun. Firing away against the Calliopes. Black Castle also in there. Oh, I also got a Puma here. I don't know how the plumas are versus supply piece. It's such a rare item. It's a good shot there. Allied war machine active. He will cover one for IAP. You can simply not pursue the other one, so you perhaps take it out when Allied war machine ends. There goes the MG. This guy is trying to get ripped apart. Sherman tank here from the infantry player. The millimeter Puma does roll a bounce there. Now we got the Rangers moving around. They do have only one bazooka up, in, no bazookas up and firing. This one had both of his. Fly P Rocket Barrage, stops at the Flak Panzer, Austin. Puma falls back there. As four. Rolls a bounce on the Sherman tank. Stug in the rear armor. Sherman tank rolls a bounce. Sherman tank goes down. Black Panzer Oswin backing on off. We have this Black Panzer Oswin still in a good position. Or still alive. Plenty healthy. Sherman tank here. Uh, idle rifleman squad there. The Sherman tank certainly pushes way forward. Bunker has been pulled in the field. As a four, finds a rock squad, slowly damaging him. Does get the sticky bomb off. <clears throat> the reason why he instantly detonated is because he crushed the model throwing it. Now that Hands of Four, Vet 3, Hands of Four is now on the field. That was all Stugs. Black Towns are Vobal Wind here. Gunner killed crit there. Asphalt fires, which actually looks like it splashed his own Black Pounder. Main gun destroyed there. Which one? Enemy is down to 100 points. There's four of them. Oh, there it goes. Hands four takes a sticky bomb. And he's once again lagging, lagging a little bit. Don't know if that's a full uh, clip or just just a lag spike. Still, the creep straight forward. That was a destroyed engine crit there. Sends a bouncer on the fly B. He may be just trying to save up for a one. Supply yard has both levels. 
AC gun trying to set on up. You can bring in the V1 now. Might as well. Oh, V1 now being cast. Yep, I actually had... I accidentally was... Uh, some odd reason it was set to uh, Age of Empires 4. That's my bad. Do now have a V1 raining on in. Right around here? Yep. Oh, guess quiet Quiet V. Uh, may or may not get the Stug. Probably not the Stug. Somehow the Panzer IV is still alive. Keeping this way backwards. Yeah, I'm not sure why it was automatically running back to... Them. What's it called? Age Empires 4, because I'm pretty sure it was set to Company Wars 1. I didn't change it back. And there goes the Panzer IV. Good damage there. Five feet didn't need a good number of the butterfly bombs. And four three four. The funny thing as well is I was actually online, just the wrong game. Only 25 points left. We are crushing them. Rangers before There is a drop with PSP and far there. Yep. German crocodile advancing. Of course, it is going to be very effective versus Flak Irving placements and versus 223s, as well as Luff off ground forces. Got the 50mm Puma, Black Panzer Oswin, and the Panzer 4 before. Rangers taking a bit of damage there. Does get some damage there. AT guns are gonna get overran by the Flak Panzers. Taking a bit of damage there. We do have the Ranger Squad being burned alive. Or maybe it's a Puma. Taking a bit of damage there. He's very lag of the game, which slowly but surely means he's lagging. Well, takes some damage. You can let me get Puma gets a hit there. Crocodile does go down. Rangers do manage to capture the point. The sector has been captured on up, and the allies do not have many tickets remaining. <coughs> Rangers now falling on back there. Not sure how much they have. Yeah, it has some resources. I think trying to save up off that combat group, but. They probably won't get that much time. Off of power shoot running on in. Does decapture this sector, so now they are reverting down. Nice crossbow display. Gibbed. Crack squad and trucks away for the capture the sector while they lose. They also capture this sector, so they will stabilize. Is nope, that's the wrong player. Got the pan uh plume up and double pants forward push way forward. Now the US player has been missions to work with, has two Clyde piece, but nothing really else. Not sure why he's going for a quad half track. Watch just I for Sherman's or M10s. Control the vehicles, but here comes yes, Clyde piece. Good shots there. They're hitting one of our forward placements, trying to take our territory. Power is down two VPs. This is memory catched up. Once it's captured, that's going to be game over. IP does go down. They're bringing up the various structures back here. Rangers trying to advance the way forward. And this point should be yep, captured, and that's going to be game over. Our forces are and that is game over. This is Angrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.